Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you Siri and some of its new features and adjustments, as well as it running on the iPad. So here I have iOS 6, and it's running on here. Now, as soon as I hold down the home button, you can see the Siri interface pop up. And you can see that it pops up over on the side when it's rotated in landscape, and when it's rotated in portrait mode, it pops up once again uh, right above the home button, but of course in portrait mode. And it's like a small version of what you'd find on the iPhone and it just kind of sits down at the bottom of the screen and you can still see what's going on in the screen. So in addition to that there's a whole bunch of updates to Siri and what it can do on iOS 6. So for example now it can tell me a lot about sports. So if I hold down the home button here, what was the score of the last Giants game? So what it'll do here is it'll tell me uh, about the score of the last Giants game. The Giants lost to the Rangers yesterday. Final score was 5-0. Now, I'm not much of a sports guy, so I don't know many uh, sports figures, but you can even ask things like, uh, you know, different players' height, and you can compare. Who is taller, Brett Favre or Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning is 6'5". So there, he gives you a little bit of information about the player, and this is the same with basketball, football, etc., anything like that. You can say something like, when is the first NFL game of the season? There are no games on tap in the NFL. So what it'll do is it'll tell you when the first game is, assuming you're in the football season, but right now there's no games, obviously, so it tells me there's nothing. But the point is that now you can ask it these types of things. So there's a couple things you can do with movies, too. You can ask, like, what theaters, what movies are playing at them. Uh, you can do Rotten Tomatoes reviews. Uh, you can also ask something like a uh, movie trailer, so I can ask it. Movie trailer for Prometheus. So now here it gives me information about Prometheus. There's the Rotten Tomatoes score, and I can watch the trailer. There's information about the film. It even understands some things like, who is the director of Prometheus? Of course, it knows about actors too. What movies did John Malkovich star in? I found quite a few movies with John Malkovich. There's also new restaurant functionality within Siri. So, for example, what restaurants in Cupertino, California serve hamburgers? Okay, one of these burger restaurants is in Cupertino, CA. So now if I select Red Robin, I can view information about it. Here it shows me the reviews, there's the hours, uh, there's the phone number if I want to call it. Uh, it gives me the, you know, the price, ratings, and all different things like that. Siri can also tweet for you. Tweet. This is a test from the iPad. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? Sure. Okay, I sent your tweet. Now the same goes for things like Facebook as well. And another thing that Siri can now do is launch applications, which is pretty useful. And the last new thing Siri can do is launch applications. So for example, the last new thing that Siri can do is launch applications. So for example, launch App Store. And boom, it launches App Store. There you go. So that's about all of the new features with Siri in iOS 6 as well as Siri on the iPad. And uh, there'll be more videos about iOS 6 on cultmac.com so you want to check there. This is Michael with Cult Mac and thank you for watching.